All right, uh, well, this is our uh, second day working here with World Central Kitchen and um, didn't do any filming yesterday because we were working right here and uh, was fairly busy and I just wanted to focus on what we were doing rather than you know pulling off the camera and filming anything. Uh, but what we found yesterday is that like the people coming across the border really come across in waves. So there, there would be some down times. Uh, well, we're here again. Uh, this is one of the down times. So uh, I'm going to show just a, a little bit of uh, what some of the people here are doing. There, there are some people here, to be honest, that, that are not here for the right reasons. Uh, but there are plenty who are uh, here for, for a good purpose. Obviously, there's a lot of trash that is being generated here. Um, so a lot of volunteers who are helping with uh, trash cleanup. And then there are several different organizations. Um, some are faith-based, some are not, who are providing food. Uh, I think this is a, a group from Scotland right here. And lots of news reporters too. All right, here's uh, another big need that uh, that people have is to get a SIM card so that they can have a phone that works once they get here into Poland. Uh, and these are being provided free of charge. Here's another really important service, uh, and that is people providing supplies for uh, children and for, for infants. So baby formula, food, uh, all kinds of different things for, for these families who uh, maybe haven't had access to it. All right, here is the uh, organization that we've been working with, uh, World Central Kitchen. And uh, I cannot say enough about this organization. Uh, it is incredible what they are doing. So if you're looking for a cause to donate to, uh, this this is certainly a good one. So it looks like we're doing a little cleanup right now, maybe getting ready for the uh, next group to come through. Uh, yesterday we served up a lot of soup, uh, worked into the night, and ended up serving hot chocolate and goulash and different things like that. But uh, really providing uh, a good service to, to people who are definitely in need right now. All right, and then uh, what we're looking at here is kind of the route that uh, people coming out of Ukraine take in order to get to the buses up here. Uh, the bus is taking them to a central train station, and then from there they can move further into Poland or Germany or, or whatever their destination is. Like I said, it's kind of a, a little bit of a, a lull in the action right now. Um, I think they, they let people through, just from what I can tell, uh, in, in larger groups, or you have larger groups that are traveling together. But as far as where I am on the border, um, this is where people end up before they head off to their next destination. Here's another spot that uh, World Central Kitchen has at this processing center. So it's kind of a large tent. We, we spread this gravel out yesterday. The tent was already up whenever I got here, but it was kind of a risk of being a muddy mess. Um, but this is offering people an opportunity to uh, sit down and, and take a rest. <laughs> so I mentioned how the uh, groups kind of come in waves. Well, <laughs> after I stopped filming, uh, started working, went out back, and was washing some dishes and whenever I came back here's the line all right so that's uh, about 30 seconds just showing how quick things change here uh, back to work all right, so right there is the gate uh, that is the, the border between Ukraine and Poland and uh, right here 
is our workstation. So things have died down a, a little bit. It's been pretty crazy today. And uh, those are my, my work partners today from uh, London and uh, somewhere in Scotland. So is it Scotland? Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, my name is Brusk. Uh, I'm here from London. I'm a university student at the University of Bristol. Um, and yeah, one of my friends said he's coming here to like film some stuff, make a documentary for a fundraiser. Um, and he's like, why don't you come? And I was like, you're right, why don't I come? And so I got my deadlines done, sent them off, uh, and packed my bags, got a ticket, and here I am. I'm here for like a week. Uh, I wish I could stay for longer, actually, but deadlines and university work, uh, they kind of pile up, so. <laughs> awesome. Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland, but originally from Coleraine in Northern Ireland. And I'm over here um, because my son and I really wanted to do something. It's not a lot, but we just felt we couldn't sit at home without trying. Um, I gave up my holiday to Tenerife with my husband, um, but he was quite happy with that. Because I don't think this is a time to be sitting in the sun enjoying yourself when these people are struggling to find where they're going to go next. They're walking into a world of uncertainty and hopefully we can all help. All right, well, uh, I've been here, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 hours today. Uh, so I think we're gonna wrap things up. We've got an hour and a half drive back to where we're staying. Uh, man, lots of people today. There were lots of people who moved through this border checkpoint. And uh, a lot of sad stories here. I talked to a lot of people who were coming out of Kharkiv, which has been hit especially hard. I talked to one little boy in, in Russian. Uh, and I'm able to have a decent conversation with a kid in Russian, uh, but he was telling me uh, he's from Kharkiv. I think he was probably five or six years old and was uh, telling me how they had to leave his dad behind because his dad has to fight. So pretty sad. Uh, but there are a lot of good people here uh, who are doing a lot of good things. If you're looking for some place to donate to, World Central Kitchen is solid. Uh, so anyway, get a little rest and be right back at it tomorrow. Uh, 